Hey guys, Tool Cruz here, and welcome back to another video. In today's video, we're going to be taking a look at the Nash Rack Bag from Vinchita. And you may notice today that I am fully suited up. So I'm in my work clothes today. I think this is the first time I've appeared in a video in a suit. Let me know if you guys like the suit, give the video a like. But anyway, those of you who are fans of the channel know that I'm a daily bike commuter. I've been bike commuting every day for the last like five years, maybe longer. And during that time, I've mostly always used backpacks as my main commuter bag. But recently I got this new e-bike which has this nice rack on the back and I wanted to experiment with using a new style type of bag. And this bag was sent over by Vinchita for me to review. This is called their Nash Rack Bag and it's a really cool bag. So first I want to introduce this bag, the unique points about it, and then we'll talk about some of the good and bad points of using these style bags. So let's start taking a look at the bag. This is my new e-bike by the way, which I just recently got and I'm really excited to start using this on my commute. And let's take a look at the bag. So from the side, you can see here that this has this foldable pouch here down to the side. This actually can fold down on both sides. I've only got the one side folded down right now because that's the only one I'm using right now. But you can fold down the other side. This is how it looks like when it's closed in there. We've got a nice little reflection triangle here on the side. And it also has this nice handle here up in the top, which grips together by Velcro. And here on the top of the bag, we've got the logo for the company. This is Vinchita. Vinchita is a bike bag making company based out of Thailand, and they've been making bike bags for a long, long time. And they reached out to me to help film some reviews for some of their videos. We recently did a video review for one of their shopping bags, so you can check that out. My wife really likes that bag. And actually, my wife is here today. She's helping out with today's video. So say hello to Tuan Chan. <laughs> and she's gonna help open up the side pockets while I talk to you guys. So let's take a look here in the side pocket. So one of the things I'm really excited about in this bag, this works as a great commuter bag. It also works as a good bike touring kind of bag. And me and my wife, we love cycling. We want to do some more bike tours. So that's one reason we bought this bad boy here. This is our iPad Pro. And this is how we edit all of our two wheel cruise videos on this tiny little guy. So we bought this guy so we can be completely portable and do more bike tours. And this is really cool feature of this bag. This little side pocket here folds down so we can fit any type of computer in there. And this is the 12.9 inch iPad Pro. It's also attached to a keyboard case right now. It fits in there easily and we can fit in a few more things in that side pouch if we needed to. But yeah, any decent sized laptop computer is gonna fit in there. So I can bring this to work with me. I actually edit videos during my lunch break. And if we're doing some sort of bike touring, we can bring our iPad with us and edit videos on the road while we do our trips. So I'm really, really excited about that feature. By the way, it does have this little Velcro strap here. So you can strap this down to the bottom of the rack and you can keep that in place for moving. So let's see how this looks when it's folded up completely. So it just folds up like that and then we can zip it up. All right, there we go. And right now the bag is locked onto the rack, so it's not going anywhere. And the way to pull this off, we've got this lever here. We've got two of these, one on each side, and it's really easy. You just flip it open. We're gonna flip it open on both sides, and it just comes right off, just like that. And this is how it looks down on the bottom. You can see we've got different screws here, so you can adjust it to the width of your bicycle. And we could actually use this on Toonchan's bike over here. She came on her mama cherry. So she's also got a nice rack on the back. And if we wanted to use this bike here, we could just pop it on. Her rack is a little bit wider than mine, so it's unfortunately not the same size. We'd have to adjust it down here, but it still will lock on this one side. So let's test that out real quick. So there we go. If Toonchan wanted to use this bike, we'd just have to adjust the width on the bottom and we could lock it on here as well. So when you go into work for the day, you just grab the handles like this. It also does have a shoulder strap as well in the inside. So actually let's open this up and see what we've got on the inside. I actually brought a tarp in here just in case because I knew things were going to get messy on the ground here. So let's open up the tarp. All right, let's take a look at what we got inside this bag. So we've got this Velcro strap up here in the top. This opens up the handles and we've got the main zipper. Let's see what we've got inside. So <laughs> I packed a bunch of random stuff uh, today. Uh, normally this isn't what I bring to work because I, I don't actually have work today. We're filming this on my off day, but we got some snacks. Uh, my wife really loves granola bars. I recently introduced her to granola. 
she's from Vietnam, so granola bars, granola, that kind of stuff isn't really popular there yet. She really likes that. Um, I got my wallet in here, and I've got a nice little mini tripod for our cameras. So I brought a lot of my work stuff. We've got our 360 camera. We're probably gonna get a couple different 360 videos on today's ride. For the later part of today's video, when we get some action shots, we've got our case for our microphone. I've got my super extension stick here. And yeah, when we do our bike touring trip, we're gonna need to carry all this stuff. So it's really nice to see that the storage capacity on this is nice. We can fit all of our equipment. Um, I brought a bento box here. Unfortunately, there's no, there's no bento in here today, but most days my wife, Tunchan, cooks a delicious bento. So bento box in case you're bringing that to work. I also brought a multi-tool for cycling. And this is the, the strap that it comes with. So if you don't need the strap, you don't need to worry about carrying this, but we can strap this on both sides, just like this. And then that way we got a nice shoulder strap for the bag. You don't have to always carry it with you. And yeah, if you're doing bike touring, you need to carry your valuables with you. You can lock up the bike. You're going to see some attraction, film some video, and you can bring this with you easily. So that's a nice little accessory. The bag itself is not waterproof, but it does come with a waterproof cover. So in the unfortunate case that it is raining while you're doing your touring, you can cover the bike with this and it does come with extra attachments for the side pockets as well when those are unfolded. So it covers the whole bag. And one other thing to notice on the inside of this bag is it has this really thick padding on the inside. So this covers the side walls as well as the bottom. And this is really cushiony. This is gonna protect any type of delicate equipment you have. So if you're also like a camera type of enthusiast, you wanna bring your DSLR camera or other delicate equipment. Today we have our 360 camera and we have the camera we're filming with right now. So we bring multiple cameras. We might bring our drone. We can protect all of our electronics and feel safe that knowing that this cushion is gonna absorb all the different vibrations on the road and keep it all nice and safe. So that's another nice feature of this bag. And if you don't need the cushion, you can actually remove it. And that way you can get some extra storage capacity out of the bag if you need to. So yeah, this is completely removable. It's not necessary, but it does help protect your more delicate equipment that you might be traveling with. All right, let's put everything back inside. And once again, Vincita sent over this bag and another bag for us to review recently. So we've been testing out their stuff the last few weeks and seems to be really good quality. They're a family run business based out of Thailand. And if you're interested in ordering your own bag like this, you can use our discount code to get 10% off of your order. So check that out down below in the description box. I'm really excited about it and excited to use it moving forward as my daily commuter bag. One thing I'm especially looking forward to as we move into the spring months here and the summer months moving forward is it's gonna be getting really hot. And one of the things I really dislike about commuting with a backpack is I get a sweaty back. And this wasn't a problem before at my older job because at my older job, I always cycled in with my cycling clothing and I was able to change at work and I, they, we had a hose at work. So I was able to hose down and wash down and not worry about being sweaty, but now, my recent job, actually it's pretty close to where I live, so my bike commute isn't that far, and it's not far enough to justify changing clothing, and I have to wear a suit, so even in the summer I'm gonna have to wear this suit, and I have a feeling it's gonna get really hot really quickly, so I don't wanna get any swack. And that's one awesome thing about this bag, is I can just pop it on my rack like this, lock it on, double check, we're good to go, and I can get on my bike, head to work like this. I don't have any swag when I get to work and I'm nice and cool. And that's one of the biggest advantages of bike commuting on an e-bike, especially an e-bike with a back rack. You can keep all the weight, all the pressure off of your body and you can just enjoy the nice ride into work without having to put any effort in. On one hand, I do really enjoy riding regular bicycles and using my own efforts to get to work. But on the other hand, I also enjoy arriving to work, not overly sweaty or anything like that. So I do think there is a place for e-bikes. I do think there's a place for these rear racks and they're really beneficial. And again, not only for bike commuting, for our future bike touring videos, I have a feeling we're gonna be using this bag a lot in the near future. Anyway, speaking of riding, it's starting to get really cold here. The clouds are coming in and we're gonna continue on with our ride here. 
That's it for the main part of this video. I'm gonna finish up here with a nice little montage of the rest of our ride. And if you have any questions or feedback for us on future videos you'd like to see, let us know down below in the comments. Thanks as always for watching guys, and we'll see you next time here on Tuo Cruise.